In World News Express headlines, a man has been charged with causing death by dangerous driving in connection to Sunday's fatal three-vehicle collision on the Holland Bamboo Main Road in the parish of St. Elizabeth. Charged is 32-year-old Carol Biggs, a laborer of a Kingston 3 address. According to police reports, close to 12.20 p.m., Biggs, who was driving a Suzuki Swift motor car, allegedly overtook a line of traffic. Mr. Biggs reportedly lost control of the vehicle and had a collision in the rear of a parked BMW, forcing it to collide with the Toyota Axio, which was also parked along the roadway. Five persons, including two youths, received injuries and were taken to the hospital where one woman was pronounced dead. Biggs was arrested and subsequently charged. Mr. Biggs is scheduled to appear before the Santa Cruz Parish Court on Monday, June 13, 2022. A woman from the parish of St. Catherine who collected $60,000 from another under the pretense that she was a visa agent was given a stern warning in court on Tuesday. Linton, a 28-year-old woman of Spanish town, was charged with larceny by trick. When Linton appeared before parish judge Kellyer, no further evidence was ordered in the matter. Kellyer told Linton that despite paying back the money, what she did was wicked and that she should be ashamed. The complainant was told that she was naive as there is no embassy in St. Catherine and that these entities do not have agents who collect sums on their behalf. The court heard that on April 24th, the complainant approached Linton at a workplace in Spanish Town. The complainant was convinced by Miss Linton that she could secure an American visa for her, but that required a sum of $60,000 for her services. After collecting the money, Miss Linton failed to secure the document and requests to return the money were not honored. A report was made to the police and an investigation resulted in Linton being charged. A 36-year-old man known as Ricardo Francis, also called Landlord, a truck driver of 11 miles in Bull Bay, St. Thomas, was charged in connection with an illegal farm and 10 rounds of ammunition, which were seized during an operation in his community on Thursday, April 28th. According to reports from the Yalas police, close to 6.30 a.m., law enforcement officers were in the vicinity when a premises occupied by Francis was searched and the firearm and ammunition were found inside a speaker box that was in his possession. He was subsequently taken into custody and later charged with illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition. His court date is being arranged by the police team in St. Thomas.